okay, this is a hard one and you may find yourself reading it over and over again and not, and not surely what's going on. So I always recommend do not get hung up on one part of the sentence. Read on and hopefully there will be some illumination as far as the blanks are concerned. So let's read it. But they pay little attention to the opposite, more torturous failure. So right there you may say, wait a second, who the heck is, who are they? And wait, can we start a sentence with but or wait? And so at that point you start flailing around and bad things happen. Simply read on. There's a te treacherous failing. What is this treacherous failing? Well, false certainty, refusing to confess their mistakes and implicitly claiming blank. And so we want a word that is similar to this idea of, oh, I know I'm right. And if I'm wrong, I'm not, not going to confess, I'm not going to admit it. So thereby they're implicitly claiming what? That they're always right, that they're never wrong. And what's that word? Infallibility. So there's one of our answer choices. Hey, now let's go on to the next blank. It says, thereby embarrassing the nation and undermining the Constitution, which established various mechanisms of self-correction on the premise that even the wisest men are sometimes wrong and need, precisely when they find it most blank, the benefit of a blank process. So well, nobody's perfect. Even the best of us sometimes need what sort of process? And the answer is something that helps remedy us, helps correct us, make things better. And that word of is remedial. So that's for the third blank, which is H. And then the second blank. So when do they need it? Well, precisely when they find it the most difficult, the most uncomfortable. Oh, this is hard. I really don't want to confess that I'm not perfect, but it's just at those times I really need it, this remedial process. So what word means uncomfortable, difficult, unpleasant? That word is discomforting, which is answer choice D.